Here's my review for the movie The Incredible Burt Wonderstone. Uh, I saw this movie on the opening day. I was really looking forward to seeing this movie because I, I, I know it's not good. It's not a good, really that great of a film. Uh, and I was trying to wonder why it isn't. And I think it's just because it's not funny enough. And I think that's the bottom line. I think the main character is not funny enough. He doesn't have enough like Ron Burgundy in him, which basically as a magician, they could have really gone all the way and kind of been really kind of like crazy with this kind of film. And like Steve Carell has the ability to do this. And I'm wondering why they didn't do this because it's like they kind of teetered on the kind of dramatic a little bit too much. But then again, it's 2013. You got Steve Carell, you got Jim Carrey starring in this movie. I guarantee you, this movie was done 10 years ago in 2003. This movie would have made a lot more money at the box office than it did because it's got stars in it. It's got a lot of star power. You even got Steve Buscemi in. You got James Gandolfini. You got Alan Arkin, who's always good in it. You got Olivia Wilde, which all the fanboys love because she's really attractive. This is a movie that would have made a lot of money 10 years ago. And maybe you, you would have saw it with a different lens. But because I think that the, it was done on a cheap budget, I know that. But I think that the studios didn't really believe in this film at all. Because if you really think about it, like, I don't know if this is like revisionist history, of course. But I watched, like, I'm into these, like, reality TVs. I'm studying, like, television a lot. And I didn't see much advertisement for the for the Carnival of Burt Wonderstone. I was even talking to people the other day before the movie came out, and they didn't even know this movie was coming out. And they go, oh, Steve Carell, I like him. Oh, Jim Carrey, I like him. But they didn't even know it was coming out. The movie bombed at the box office. It would be a disappointment. It would be a little blip on, on both of these actors' careers. But the movie's just not that funny enough, and it needs to be funny. I, I have nothing else to say. It's like I enjoyed it. I thought it was well done, but it's just not funny enough. That's my review.